Alex from Tampa asks, besides the Cowboys, Spurs, and Oklahoma, what are the other teams you root for? Hmm. Dear to my heart, my first two loves as a little kid growing up in Oklahoma City were, number one, University of Oklahoma football, as Alex points out, and number two, which he does not point out, the St. Louis Cardinals baseball team of the 1960s, probably way before your time. Those Cardinal teams of the 60s for a little kid were something featuring my all-time favorite St. Louis Cardinal, Bob Gibson, the baddest man who ever threw a baseball, along with Lou Brock and Kurt Flood and Bill White and Julian Javier, and a man we recently lost, a man you probably do know of, Tim McCarver, who played catcher, as did I. I own one piece of signed memorabilia, only one piece, and it's thanks to my man Nelly from the Lou, as in St. Louis. Nelly obviously is a Lou legend. He and the St. Lunatics. Before Bob Gibson passed, Nelly got Gibby to sign a baseball for me. My most prized possession of memorabilia, my only signed piece. I don't root for the Cardinals as much as I used to. I still follow them, but truth be told, because I covered the Los Angeles Dodgers out here in LA for the LA Times through the 70s. The Dodgers own a little piece of my heart. Now I live in Los Angeles, and I still believe that Dodger Stadium is the greatest baseball venue in this great country that we live in, even beyond Fenway and beyond Wrigley. It's Dodger Stadium for me. But please do not underestimate how much I still root for the aforementioned Vanderbilt Commodores. When I first graduated from Vandy, I tried to convince myself, hey, Silly for Vanderbilt to even have teams representing Vanderbilt, trying to win bragging rights for a school that I still believe with all my heart and soul is the greatest school in this country, the greatest college experience. It's not even close, it's Vanderbilt. I've steered so many kids in the direction of Vanderbilt. Now it's almost impossible to get in. I think it's 7% of, of the kids who try to get in do get in. I used to think, so, so why do we need a bunch of kids come in to represent us as athletes who might not choose Vanderbilt if not for sports? Well, here's why. We do play in the SEC, the Southeastern Conference. Our academic admission standards for athletes are much, much tougher than any other school with which we compete. So does it ever do my heart good when we win SEC football games? We won some last year, or basketball games, or national championships in baseball. And I'm now so proud of my Vanderbilt basketball team as it won eight of its last nine regular season SEC games. Jerry Stackhouse, bless him, can flat out coach basketball anchor down i hope you enjoyed that video you ready for more make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the skip bayless show and don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcast by clicking the link in the description